guys uh, so let's create framework now okay, okay so everyone uh, click on file on your eclipse or where if you are in intellige i think the process is same new project go to the maven one select maven project next i think uh, promo yesterday shows showed you everything on intellige today it's about eclipse select quick start and next so this is uh, now we had to name the group id basically in future if we want to send this project on maven repository this is how you will know about that uh, if you see the dependencies you see something like com.lrreport.io right so all this comes from this declaration okay so let's declare it like com. API or backend. Okay, group ID com dot backend, artifact ID or com dot. Let's say name it as project. Project dot backend. You can name it anyway, uh, but make sure everything is unique and make sure everything is in lowercase, and just finish it out. Okay, you will see this kind of folder, and now you have two things here: test and main. Okay, uh, if you saw the mind map, there are two things which is already there. We need to add one more thing. So right click on this new. and click on folder name the folder name as resources and click finish now we have added all the required folders which were part of the mind map right everyone we so we have deleted all the the quick start references now i will add the more packages uh, let's complete the test packages first uh, right click on the test java and then right click and create package and name it com dot backend dot actions okay now under that create two classes first one assert actions we will write the code later on first of all we are trying to recreate that structure right and similarly another class api actions okay uh, actions are created uh now i need one more thing and one more package this time i will name it as new package com dot backend dot test right under that i will add let's say for this demo purpose i'm going to create a demo sample for integration test okay i uh, everything is created in terms of folder structure for source okay everyone is with me okay 
uh, i created a new project uh, new going into the file new project may one project next next here you can quick search uh, search for quick start if you want to quick start and then select this one quick start 1.1 if you are in latest version it would be 1.4 also select this one next name this uh, you can name this anything i named is no com dot project dot backend okay and com dot project and here backend and then you can finish it out and then you will see two folders source and uh, sorry main and test there would be one one class remove that those classes okay there would be one one packages remove those packages and uh, create one resource folder right click new folder and resource folder and then under test create two packages one com dot backend dot actions right click new package com dot backend dot action similarly com dot backend dot test under this create one class integration test and under backend actions create two classes api actions and azure actions okay everything is done okay now let's create uh, packages under source main uh, so one package we need for endpoints right so com dot backend dot make sure this com dot backend is common everywhere right endpoints under that create a class api constant now let's create a package for util under that create two classes data utils and test utils okay now net class pojo class sorry pojo package com dot backend dot pojos okay uh, for now i'm leaving it uh, empty because this depends on the api structure we're gonna use later on so we will create that from schema uh, json to pojo schema portal uh, so we i i will i'm leaving this empty for now okay and uh, one more and uh, now for payload management i need one package com dot backend dot payloads okay again this will depend upon uh, backend pojos uh, classes so i'll create objects here i will manipulate objects here but this is what a structure look like so uh, under this i will create a empty class for now request payloads you need to manage request payloads right so this is our payload manager which we discussed in payload driven framework this is our backend pojo uh, we will create pojo classes later on mm -hmm. so under test integration test i need one more class for reusability purpose that is base test yes anything else structure wise i think we are done yeah right yeah